DoggyDiamondsTV.com. Yeah, yeah, what it is, people. It's your boy, Doggy Diamonds. You already know. I'm here. Well, let them know who you are, man. I know they know who you are, but let them know just in case they be getting your name twisted. Yo, what up? This your homie, Mo. I mean, straight, straight out of Flatbush, Brooklyn, man. Repping for that on that money and violence. I play that character, Rafe. And I mean, bringing that old Brooklyn back. What up, New York? So when you say old Brooklyn, you talking about that Albee Square Mall, Brooklyn? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about that Albee Square, you know, that old Fort Green, that old Flatbush, Brooklyn, that Ken Moore movie theater. You know, that old field. Duffield, the, old, the old Metropolitan. Principles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The old principles, that, those old morals. Man. So money and violence, did y'all get a lot of um, negative feedback from some people like, oh, y'all portraying this, that, and the third? I mean, look, man, it's like this. I see it this way. See, the life that we live, very few understand, you know, um, and that was the that was the point of this whole project, to give a, a more candid look at why we live the way that we do. So the same way that I don't expect the world to understand this, I mean, you know, a lot of people are going to see it as something other than what it is. What was the, uh, the brainstorm behind it? Did y'all just sit there and say, yo, let's just film? No, 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 no. I mean, I wrote, everything was written line for line, you know? Okay. Everything was the script, written line for line, by me or whatever. Um, and every, everything was basically put together strategically. Because you got a lot of people right now that just trying to do it. They grabbing cameras and they doing their little episodes. Do you encourage that or you do you expect people, you, you think people should just pay homage to the originators of it? Nah, I encourage that, man. I encourage that. You understand? Because I'm more than happy to set the example, man. To get dudes in another lane. You understand? Because, I mean, with me coming up, it was only a couple of things that I felt that I was accessible to to get bread to, to gain success. So if I could give niggas something else to do, man, I'm more than happy. And I mean to inspire, man. All y'all dudes, grab a camera, man, tell y'all story. Where could they see the episodes at? You can catch the episodes on um, on our website, cloud9tv.net, okay. or just search Money and Violence Season 1 on YouTube. So you went the YouTube route. Why not Netflix? Why not some of them other things? I mean, I got I got a lot of deals on the I know you guys <laughs> at the moment in time. You know, um, I didn't shop a, a, a pilot and nothing like that at first, only because, you know, I've never done this before, man. I never stepped foot behind the camera before this project. So I didn't want to have to fight to get in them offices, plus I ain't got no resume, I ain't got no prior experience, these dudes wouldn't have tried to hear me. So I felt it, put it this way man, if you got good product, I don't care if you wrap it up in a brown paper bag. The work good, the they gonna come for the good work. In a glass jar, yeah. once it hit the block, fire is gonna be fire and it's gonna sell. So I when, figured I got hot product, man, put it out there for the people and let it speak for itself. When it blew up, when, did, when was the first time you realized, hold up, this shit is big, man. Well see, this is the thing. Back in December 2014, like it was building up and people used to tell me, I had a lot of people that was telling me, yo, look, man, January 5th, first day of the first quarter, 2015, your phone and your email are going to go off the hook. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Because ain't, no, ain't really nobody hollering, you know? And they were like, look, man, it's, it's, it's fourth quarter. Ain't no corporations taking on no new business. You Once know that, I mean? new, that yeah. new money gets so cut. They was yeah. like, yo, January 5th, that's the first day of the first quarter, I guarantee you. And I swear to you, January 5th, everything went haywire, man. You know, so... um. So that's the date. We could put that... Uh, you, you might as well make that the national holiday for you. It's so January 5th. I mean... The life change. I mean, I can't even say life change. I mean, look, man. A lot of things change as far as attention is concerned, but you know, I'm grateful for how far we've gotten, but we still got a whole lot further to go. Season two, when could we expect that? Season two, it's still up in the air, man. We still in meetings, you know, but just know that um, we're gonna bring y'all the best season two possible. And just always remember that season one, I basically did out of pocket, you know what I mean? I gave it, I gave it out for free. So with a budget, uh... So season two, nah, actually, we're about to do a fundraising campaign. Okay, That's yeah, why I said that. Kickstarter, yeah, within the next Go couple Fund of days, we're about, go, we yeah. about to do a season spark, you okay. know what I mean? So look out for that, man. Everybody talking about we're season two, we're season two. Yo, we don't want it to get watered down. We want to keep the authenticity. So you know what? If it's love, put your money where your mouth Motherfucker is, man. Motherfucker shooting? Yeah, that's that Brooklyn that? I like though. Yeah. I heard that. This Brooklyn, yeah, I love yeah, that exactly. shit. Exactly. I love that shit. You know what I mean? That's that's the norm. Yeah. But anyway, you know what I mean? Um, everybody looking for season two, so it's like, yo, hold me down like I held y'all down, man. I gave y'all twenty. I gave y'all twenty six straight episodes, seven months of straight fire, hitting the block, tore the hood up. You know what I mean? It's time for me to re up. So yo, help me with this re up. All right. So I'm um, giving your social network so they can stay in contact with you. So when you put that GoFundMe or whatever you put out there. All right, man. You can um catch us on Instagram at Money and Violence. 
violence, money A and D violence. You can follow me, Ray, at Cloud9 TV underscore. That's C L O U D 9 TV underscore. You could also um follow us. We got the Facebook fan page, Money and Violence web series, and follow us on Twitter at New York Cloud9 TV. Also, you can catch Money and Violence at www.cloud9tv.net. All right, so that's what it is, man. Let them know we on Doggy Diamonds TV, man. Yo, you know what it is. It's your boy Rafe, Money and Violence. Welcome to that old Brooklyn, man. We on Doggy Diamonds TV. Check that out. That's what it is. I'm Brooklyn biased too, so you know. I love my borough. And we in my hood too, so it's Ain't all no good. More. Every hood, my hood, man. Right. Earth is my turf. That's what it is. Good looking. All right.